I would like us to stand and uh, James, we sing more about Jesus. After we, see, after we read the scripture, we shall sing that. So shall we stand and I want my brother to read very quickly in Kiswahili. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 to 14. First Corinthians chapter 13, 9 to 11. Alafu. <coughs> we shall have it displayed so that in, you may follow. We are starting with the second Corinthians chapter 11. First one to first four. But we shall we pray. Heavenly Father, we are human. We are mortals. There is nothing in us that we love to be God. But you said you work in a man. As we go in your presence this morning. Work in us precious Father. Speak by the Holy Spirit. Have mercy upon us. Let's pray in Jesus name. Amen. Laiti mgechukuliana nami katika upumbavu wangu kidogo nam mchukuliane nami maana na waonea wivu wivu wa Mungu kwa kuwa nimewaposea mme mmoja ili nimletee Kristo bikira safi lakini nachelea manaogopa kama yule nyoka alivyomdanganya hawa kwa hila zake asije akawaharibu fikira zenu mkauacha unyofu na usafi kwa Kristo maana yeye ajaye akihubiri Yesu mwingine ambaye sisi hatukumhubiri au mkipokea roho nyingine msioipokea au injili nyingine msioikubali mnatenda vema kuvumiliana naye Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 to 14 please Wa Filipi 3 mstari wa 10 hadi 14 Ili nimjue yeye na uwezo wa kufufuka kwake na ushirika wa mateso yake nikifananishwa na kufa kwake Ili nipate ku, ili nipate kwa njia yoyote kuifikia kiama cha wafu ama kufufuka kwa wafu Si kwamba nimekwisha kufika au nimekwisha kuwa mkamilifu la bali nakaza mwendo ili nipate kulishika lile ambalo kwa ajili yake nimeshikwa na Yesu Kristo ndugu sijidhani nafsi yangu kwamba nimekwisha kushika ila natenda neno moja tu nikiyasahau yaliyo nyuma nikiyachuchumilia yaliyo mbele na kaza mwendo niifikilie mende ya thawabu ya mwito mkuu wa Mungu katika Kristo Yesu and lastly, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we could read from chapter 1 to verse to the whole, but only let us read verse 9 to verse 12. Tungesoma kifungu kizima cha kumina tatu cha wakorintho wa kwanza, lakini tutasoma mahali pafupi tu, tisa mpaka kumina mbili, katika wakorintho wa kwanza kumina tatu. Kwa maana, tunafahamu kwa sehemu, na tunafanya unabi ama tunatabiri kwa sehemu, lakini kijapo kile kikamilifu, Kile kilicho cha sehemu kitabatilika Nilipokuwa ni mtoto mchanga Nilisema kama mtoto mchanga Nilifahamu kama mtoto mchanga Nilifikiri kama mtoto mchanga Tokea hapo nilipokuwa mtu mzima Nimeabatilisha mambo ya kitoto Maana wakati wa sasa Tunaona kwa kio kwa jinsi ya fumbo Wakati ule tutaona uso kwa uso Kwa sasa nafahamu kwa sehemu Wakati ule nitajua sana Kama mimi nami ninavyo juliwa sana May the Lord bless his word to be seated. More about Jesus I would know. More of his grace to others show. More of his saving fullness see. And more of his love who died for me. More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus, more of His saving fullness, more of His love who died for me, and more about Jesus. Now let me learn more of His holy will, design, Spirit of God, my teacher. Be showing the things of Christ to me more about Jesus in his. 
His Word, holding communion with my Lord, hearing His voice in every line, and making each faithful saying mine. More about Jesus on His throne, there He chastened glory all His own. More of His kingdom sure increase, more of His coming Prince of Peace. Thank you, Brother Mwendo. I, I didn't think you would make it today. Asante Mwendo, kuwahi kufika leo. Stating Brother Mwendo, yesterday I've been feeling very guilty. Mchungaji ya likuwa kimuambia mchungaji Mwendo kwa majana. Amekuwa akijila umu sana. I really should have taken the service last Sunday. Angepasa chukue mahubiri jumapili. And when he came here to preach. Na lipokuja kuhubiri hapa. His daughter went with the little mumo to hospital. Binti yake aka mchukua mumo aka mpeleka hospitali. Just when Brother Mwendo was finishing preaching. Na karibu wakati ndugu Mwendo alikuwa anamalizia mahubiri. Just when he went out of the pulpit. Alipotoka tu hapa mibarani. He got a call. Kapata simu. Nathaniel Mumo has gone home. It has been a very hectic week for him. The whole family. And also we lost quite a number of people this week. I won't say we lost, they passed on. We have the mother of brother Kashamba. And we have the brother of sister Katule. And uh, we have the, the, the two other mothers Tuna mama wengine wawili. of our precious brothers here. Wa, wa, wetu hapa. And uh, we just trust the Lord Jesus. Na yesu. We will give them consolation. Our precious brother, uh, uh, when, m m m brother Wamalo is in ICU again. Ndugetu adhamani ndugu Wamalo Fred yuko amerudi ICU tena. Let us remember him to the Lord. Kwa hivyo tusilegeze maombi tuzidi kumkumbuka kwa Bwana. Even as we continue with the service. Hasa hivi sasa tunapoendelea na mkutano tumweke maombini. I wanted to answer a question I have been asked several times. Nilitaka leo nijibu swali ambalo nimeulizwa mara kadhaa. This time I could not escape it. Na wakati huu nimeshindwa kulikwepa. And the question is. Na swali hilo ni. What is the difference of between. Ni nini tofauti katikati ya moja. The apostolic Pentecostal bride. Bibi ya Rusi wa Pentecoste wa Kimitume. And the. Pentecostal capstem capstone bride. Na bibi arusi waki Pentecoste wajibu la kichwa. What is the difference? Tofauti ni ni. And slowly as the Lord Jesus will help me. Na pole pole tu vile bana yeso tani saidi ya. I want to go through that. Nataka tu piti yeso mohilo. First of all, mwanzo kabisa. They are the same. Hawa wili ni moja, ni sawa. The Pentecostal Apostolic Church that started on the day of Pentecost. Kanisa la kimitume la kipentecoste, lile lilianza mnamo sikuwe pentecoste. Give me Acts chapter 11 verse 26. Kama tungekimbia mara moja, matendo mitume kumina moja, rubena sita. She was so much like Christ. Kuyo bibi harusi wa sikuwe pentecoste, alikuwa sana kama Christo. The Pentecostal, the Apostolic Pentecostal Church. Kanisa la kipentecoste la mitume. That started on the day of Pentecost. Lilo anza sikuwe pentecoste. Was so much like Christ. Walifanana na Christo sana. That... Because people have known Jesus, mpaka kwamba kwa sababu watu walikuwa wamemjua Yesu, they started a saying. Wakanza watukoanza maneno. And the Bible says there. Kasi makomba pale pana. And when he had found him, na wakati lipompata, he brought him unto Antioch. Akamleta mji wa Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. Na kwamba ikawa kwamba katika mwakamzima wakajikusani shapamu na kanisa. And taught much people. Na wakawafu. And the disciples were called Christians first 
in Antioch. Na mitume ama wanafunzi waliitwa Wakristo mara ya kwanza huko Antioch. The way they were called Christians. Vile ambavyo walifikia kuitwa Wakristo. It was not an honorable name. Halikuwa ni jina la heshima hapana. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo in kumika, that first age. Katika hicho kizazi cha kwanza. Was a despised sect. Alikuwa ni kanisa lililodharauliwa. And the followers of Jesus Christ. Na basi wafuasi wa Yesu Kristo. Wa a despised people. Walikuwa ni watu waliodharauliwa so vile vile. So be Christian. Na basi kuitwa Wakristo. Was not honorable. Halikuwa jina la heshima. Nevertheless. Lasi hata hivyo sema. Was called Christian. Waliitwa Wakristo. Because when people looked at the Kwa sababu watu walipowaangalia having known Jesus Christ. Wakiwa watu walimjua Yesu Kristo. They saw exactly what Jesus Christ did. Watu waliona kabisa kile Yesu Kristo alichofanya. Exactly what this man was doing. Ndicho kile kile ambacho mtu huyu anafanya. These people are doing the same. Hawa watu wanafanya kitu kama Yesu. They are same miracle. Wanafanya miujiza kama Yesu. They are preaching the same with authority. Na na mamlaka kama Yesu. The first basi mara apostolic the apostolic pentecostal church kanisa la pentecostal la mitume and the church at the end time na kanisa la wakati wa mwisho the capstone linaloitwa jiwe la kifuniko is the same ni lile ni sawa amen go slowly tenda pole pole tu in the prefure of the bride katika picha ya awali alionyeshwa ya bibi harusi nabii slide 9 the two are exactly the same mabibi harusi hawa wawili ni sawa kabisa only ila tu the apostolic pentecostal bride bibi harusi wa mitume wa pentecoste never went on into marriage hakuendelea mpaka aolewe she fell down alianguka but the, the apostol the, 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 the bride Age, lakini kizazi cha bibi harusi the capstone bride bibi harusi wa jiwe la kifuniko yeye ataendelea na endelee mpaka aolewe amen if you go back with me first kama tungerudi nyuma kwanza in the book of first korea chapter 11 first 11 to first 4 twende pale tuposoma wakorinto wa pili 11 moja hadi 4 first 3 says which is right 3 mstari wa tatu paulo anasema fear lakini nachelea na ukufa first of all he says in verse 2 mwanzo anasema mstari wa pili for i am jealous over you with godly jealousy kama onea wivu kwa wivu wa kiungu for i have exposed you to one husband maana nimewaposea mme mmoja that i may present you to us a church ili niwapeane kwa huyu mme kama bikira safi to christ kwa kristo let your mind go there for a minute hebu nia yako ikimbie pale kwa mme kanisa la kwanza was so much like christ nilifanana sana na kristo she was a fudge but lilikuwa bibi bibi kio paul mpaka paul exposed her akaona hili limetosha kaliposa to christ akaliposea kristo But it didn't stop there. Lakini haikukomea hakukomea hapo Paulo. Anasema lakini nachelea. Yes by any means. Isiwe kwamba konje yeye. Our serpent be God. Kama yule nyoka alivodanganya hao. Who is subterrene? Kwa hila yake so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Asije kauharibu mawazo yenu mkauacha urahisi ulio katika Kristo. Paul was very concerned. Paulo alihusika sana alichelea. And he was afraid. Na aliogopa mno that these wonderful fudge kama huyu bikira safi hivi like fudge in is kama vile bikira maria might also be corrupted asije naye akaharibiwa might be corrupted asije akaharibiwa from her purity acha usafi wake as the serpent did kama vile nyoka alivyofanya how did the serpent do it haya turudi mwanzo nyoka alifanyaje hivi slide 4 mstari wa 4 kifo is he that cometh preaches another jesus kwa sababu ajaye akihubiri ya sumu mwingine whom you have not preached ambaye hatujamhubiri oh if you receive another spirit ama ninyi mkipokea roho nyingine you have not received kando na ile hamkufa or another gospel ama injili nyingine which you have not accepted kando na ile hamjapokea you might well bear with him mnaweza mkamvumilia may the, this point get light in your heart hili neno liingie katika mioyo yetu kabisa amen deception udanganyifu comes by teaching. Huja kwa mafundisho. Amen. You are either a true worshipper. Unakuwa ama mwabudu halisi wa kweli or a false worshipper. Ama mwabudu bandia. Where we say false you can say 
teaching i will come back to that paul was so concerned the point there i want you to say is that, that that church was perfect it was even exposed just like this before she could be married something happened amen in the preview of the bride the prophet says let me first of all speak of the apostolic church the way the prophet was shown by God and coming this way was the lovely bunch of women real nice dress long hair thick knives in the back sleeves and scratch down neatly Amen. and they were all in a marching tune like onward christian soldiers marching us to war mm. with the cross of jesus going on before mm. and as they passed by now, I, I stood nikasimama. and there was something there na some spirit was god Mungu. who said there is a bride and I looked and my heart was na moyo wangu ukafahari ukafurahi amen that's the peace you hiyo ni picha ya moyo wa wali bride of jesus christ ya yesu kristo i showed brother brana ilivyoonyeshwa kwa nabii then the capstone word born bride halafu bibi harusi wa capstone aliyezaliwa kwa neno eh sorry for tea Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Got it? There's a little program. No problem. I'll be going on. Tutaendelea tu. As we Eh hakuna shida. We for it. Tutaipata. Then the capstone word born bright. Sasa tumeona wa Pentecost sasa. Bibi harusi wa capstone. Was also made to bust through before brother brother. Hata naye akapitishwa mbele ya nabii. He says. Anasema hivi. Then I just thought. Nikafikiria. I just as as well forget it. Ah kama ni hivyo na ni I was gone. Nimekwisha. Then all at once. Alafu ghafla I had it coming again. Nikasikia mdundo tena ukija. Coming up on this side come the same bride that went around this away. Na wakija kutoka upande huu akaja bibi harusi yule yule aliyepitia huku kwingine. The same bride. Bibi harusi yule yule. The same bride. Bibi harusi yule. Came back again. Akarudi tena. Here come then little ladies again. Akaja wale wanawali tena. And each one of them was dressed in their national garb from where they come from. Na kila mmoja wao amevaa vazi la taifa alilotoka. So the same bride. Basi bibi harusi yule yule. Pass through brother brother. Ambaye alipita mbele ya nabii. The apostolic Pentecostal bride. Kama bibi harusi wa kimitume wa Pentecoste. Passed again before brother brother. Yule huyo akapita tena mbele ya nabii. Capstone Pentecostal bride. Kama bibi harusi wa Pentecoste wa Capstone. So I'm emphasizing the point. Na sisitiza hapa. They are both the same. Kwamba wale wawili ni mmoja. So that he says. Anasema hivi. Just as they started to going right up in the sky. Na walipoanza kuchukua hatua ya kwenda mbinguni. The bride today. Sababu bibi harusi leo. The next day. Kinachofuata was the rapture. Hatua inayofuata ni unyakuo. Amen. Amen. The first bride I didn't finish that. The first bride she didn't go in the rapture. What happened? And as they passed by, I stood there. Okay, I didn't do that. But the first bride went down. But the second bride was to go into the sky. Amen. 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 And just as they started to go right up into the sky. This is the one went up to the brink of a hill and went down like that. The first bride, he was Amen. about to go on to marriage. And they were going on to marriage. He says there, she went to a brink of a hill and went down. And that was Nisin Khan. Hiyo ni katika jumuiya nisia, mkutano wa nisia. 
Amen. But he started started marching right up into the sky. And when they went to march, I noticed a couple of little girls in the back. Nikaona wachache wasichana wachache kule nyuma ya kundi. Kule nyuma ya kundi. Look like they might be of some foreign girl. Walionekana ni wataifa na nje. Like Sweden or Switzerland or somewhere. Kama Sweden ama Switzerland ama mahali pale. Wakaanza kuruka rao. Wakaanza kuangalia angalia kando. And I said, Nikasema, Don't do that. Fanya hiyo. Don't get out of that step. Usipoteze step. And as I scream like that, nilipopaza sauti hivyo, I come to. Nikaji, nikakutuka. In the fission. Nikatoka kwa hiyo. Standing there with my hand up like that. Nikisimama pale na mkono nimenyosha. So that's the reason. Nikafikiria ndio sababu. I said what I have said. Ndio maana nimesema yale nimesema leo. I want to I, I, I want to ask you a question. Nataka kuwaulizeni swali. Is it later than we think? Je, mdo umekwisha kuliko tunavyofikiria? Sure the because. Huenda bibi. Si uda we. Huenda bibi Rusia ameshaitwa akateuliwa akaweka kwa. There won't be one extra one, you know. Hakutakuwa na hata mmoja wa ziada. Could it be possible? Je, yamezekana? Amen. Slowly now. Amen. According to the vision. Kulingana na ono la nabii. When the first bride walked before him. Bibi harusi wa kwanza alipotembea mbele ya nabii. They were so perfect. Walikuwa wakamilifu sana. It was Jesus in them. Yaani ilikuwa ni Yesu kabisa ndani yao. Amen. But instead of going on Lakini into wow, the marriage, baada ya kuendelea mpaka waolewe, after they were exposed to Christ, baada ya kuposwa kwa Kristo, they were down the brink. Walizama, walianguka. Ni sin cancer. Katika mkutano ni sin. The second bride, bibi harusi wa pili, was exactly like the first one. Alifanana kabisa na yule wa kwanza. So perfect. Alikuwa mkamilifu sana in every way. Katika kila njia, but towards the end. Lakini karibu na mwisho Amen. In the latter years of the message. Katika miaka ya baadaye ya hatima ya ujumbe. I noticed I noticed a couple of little girls in the back. Nabii anasema nikaona baadhi ya wasichana wachache kule nyuma getting out of step. Wakitoka kwa mdundo, wakitoka kwa hatua. Amen. Amen. They have to to scream my head off. Nikihitaji nipige kelele kwa hii mpaka kichwa kitoke. I will. Nitafanya hilo. Amen. And in the prophet says Na hapo ndani nabii anasema it looked like ilionekana vipi uh, 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 she, 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 she was in a foreign land Hawa wa, waliopotea kwa hatua walikuwa wa nchi ya nje Let us leave that point first Hebu tu, 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 tu. So the first bride Tuache hiyo kwanza Bibi harusi wa kwanza Bibi harusi wa pili is the same Ni sawa Amen Amen The first bride Bibi harusi wa kwanza was exposed to Christ. Alipaswa kwa Kristo. The second bride was so perfect. Mkamilifu sana. She was also now to go in the rapture. Mpaka naye alikuwa sasa elekea kwenye kwa 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 He said, anasema in the book of Luke 24 Luke 24 then Jesus said unto them kisha Yesu kawaambia oh fools enyi wapumbavu and so of how to believe all that the prophets have spoken wana mimi wenye mioyo mizito kuelewa ama kuamini ni yote nabii manabii wanasema Jesus Christ to have suffered these things si liposa Kristo ataseka mambo haya and to his glory kisha ingia utukufuni wake and Jesus na Yesu beginning at most akianzia kwa nabii Musa and all the prophets na manabii wengine wote he expounded unto them akawafafanulia hawa wanafunzi katika maandiko yote mambo yaliyomhusu yeye amen so this bible basi biblia hii as they held it walivyokuwa wameshika all the prophets manabii wote walikuwa all the prophets manabii wote huyu actually moses walikuwa musa but not one of them Lakini, was oh, sorry wa wa actually jesus manabii wote walikuwa yesu but kama not anyone specifically was jesus christ lakini hakuna yeyote kivyake alikuwa yesu kristo amen are we together kwa pamoja But when you looked at Jesus Lakini ulipomwangalia Yesu and you looked at the prophet Na ukaangalia nabii fulani There was no comparison Hakukua na kulinganisha that this man Kwamba mtu huyo Yesu would be the glorious prophecy Angekuwa ni unabii mtukufu That was prophesied by the prophet Na manabii Amen Just 
read for me. Hebu tusome. Give, give me. Uh, uh, let me just mention it. Hebu ni taji tu. In the book of Isaiah chapter 53. Where it is speaking of this man. Pale pana pozungumzia mtu huyu. The, the masterpiece. Huyu masterpiece. Which the prophet used. Ambalo ni andiko nabia lilitumia. As a masterpiece. Kama kusu andiko la masterpiece. You don't see anything special. Ukisoma pale uoni chochote maalu. With that man. Na huyu mtu. He looks such a weakling. Alionekena mtu mnyonge sana yesu huyu. That when you say. Kamba ukisema. This person. Ati mtu huyu. When you be made man vest or not, we will be the masterpiece. masterpiece. It's somebody who had a reason to doubt. Read like this. Whom hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Now this is the masterpiece. Sasa hindi masterpiece For he shall grow up before him as a tender prayer. Maana atamea atakuwa mbele ya Bwana kama mche mororo. And as a root out of the dry ground. Na kama mzizi kutoka nchi kavu. He has no form. Hana umbo, no comeliness. Hapendezi. And when we shall see him. Na tutakapomwona. There is no beauty. Hakuna uzuri. That we should desire. Kwa kumfanya tumpende. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow. And he is acquitted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised. And we esteemed him not. How would you ever expect such a man to be called the masterpiece? masterpiece you could never notice him in the midst of the crowd. And you it required a man called John the Baptist to identify him. And even that John had to have been shown by God how to recognize it. Amen. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Amen. Let me come back to the two churches. It's very important. To I to point point the the capstone bride. The apostolic slide 28. The apostolic Pentecostal church consists of seven church ages. Seven stars. Yotasaba. Like the seven colors of the rainbow. Is that true? Amen. Paul was a star. All the way to John Wesley. Brother Branham was a star. Seven stars. In the right hand of Jesus. Amen. That consists. How do you want to The bride. Amen. God, the apostolic bride, the Holy Spirit, is represented by that star. That star was the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit is like a wind. Wind, coming from the Holy of Holies, bringing in the oil. That's the civic church age. So each church age had the Holy Ghost. And that Holy Ghost was represented by something we call the star. That's why seven times he said, he that hath an ear, let him hear. Not what Paul said, not what Irenia said, not what Martin said, not what John Wesley said, not what, Wesley said. John Wesley said. what the Spirit says unto the church. So the seven churches, each one of them had the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Are we together? Amen. But the seventh, I'll call her the eighth. Amen. Lakini wasaba, lakini hebu ni muite wanane. The capstone, because she is called out of the seventh. Kwa sababu yeye ya naitu, anatoka kwa hawa wengine seba. If you look at the monument over here, ukiangalia kwenye mtoro huu, we have seven church ages. Tunavizazi saba, hatu wa saba za kanisa. On the seventh, halafu, kwa ya saba, which is the last, ambayo ni ya mwisho, is brotherly kindness. Ni upendano wa kinugu hapu. Amen. That was the message of Brother Branham. Branham. He was so full of love. He loved the unlovable. He loved 
on it and they would stop biting him but he, he will have a wild a wild ox and it would lie down yes. Yes. as i pass this my point is what has happened to brother come to it another time amen so the apostolic church of seven churches seven and each of these seven churches was represented like a wing coming from the boil of the Holy Spirit so eight church has a message from the Holy Ghost because Sababu. Only Holy Ghost people are going in the rapture. Amen. The ones in the seven churches who hearken to what the Spirit was saying, they are the only ones from the church age that will resurrect and go in the rapture. But the the, the ones called out who we call the capstone bride the difference is those seven spirits came down as one and were represented as a rainbow in Ephesians chapter 10 amen amen so 29 but the capstone word born church is the fullness of the rainbow and I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven clothed with a crowd and a rainbow was upon his head Amen. and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire the genuine Holy Ghost believer of this age the ones who are in the graves there is something in this believer for each one of them I will say that again and that's why he brought chapter 11 39 and 40 it without us they cannot be made perfect they must lay in the grave unless there will be a people on the earth who in every sense will be able to call them out amen the thing that you call them out of the grave <laughs> and, and all the, and all, this all and, and this all <laughs> having obtained a good report through faith <laughs> receive not the promise <laughs> God having pro provided some better thing for us <laughs> that they without us <laughs> will not be made perfect <laughs> holy, holy 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 amen Every genuine Holy Ghost believer has something that Paul needs Paulo sana. Eh. to rise. That's why we started by saying Paul himself Paulo mwenyewe said Paulo alisema tuliposoma in first in 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 slide uh, 5 eh, katika slide ya 5 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable to his death if by any means I might attain unto the, unto the generation of unto the resurrection of the dead look at verse 12 hebu angalia kuminambili vile paulo anasema not as though I had already attained. Na si kwamba mimi nimeshafikia hicho. 
dispute with him this is his own testimony Sasa na Paulo anasema hapa already perfect Na wana tusemi kwamba nishakuwa mkamilifu But I follow after Ninatafuta ni kwamba ninafuata If that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of in Christ Jesus. Ili angalau nifikie kile nilicho nishike kile nilichoshikiwa na Kristo. Brethren, ndugu, I count not myself to have apprehended. Sijihesabu kwamba nimeshashaka. This thing, but this one thing I do. Lakini jambo nifanalo ni hii. Getting those things which are behind. Yes, hayo yaliyopita. Reaching for that those things which are before. Net na nafikia yaliyo mbele. Rest to all the mark. Nangangania med. For the price of the high calling. Ya tuzo ya mwito mkuu. God in Christ Jesus Yesu which is the cup ambao hiyo meda ya mtu mkuu ni hiyo ni jiwe la kifuniko amen amen Paul was a great man of God Paul alikuwa mtu mkuu wa Mungu he shadow could raise the dead kivuli chake tu kingefufua mtu amekufa If a boy died because he was dozing when he was preaching he just ride on them and they woke up. Kuna ndugu alitsinzia akisikiza mkutano alikuwa kwenye urefu akaanguka akafa Paulo akamwambia kafa. I count not myself to have attained. Lakini mtu mkuu hivi anasema ndugu mimi sijafikia bado. Neither am I perfect. Bwana sijakuwa mkamilifu bado. There is something I'm pressing to. Kuna kitu ninachongangania. To the high mark. Mwito wa juu. Of of calling in Christ. Mwito wa juu katika Kristo. By the grace of God. Kwa neema ya Mungu. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You have the opportunity to have the high mark of the calling in Christ. Amen. Amina. What Paul was pressing towards. Kile Paul alikuwa anangangania asikipate. We have arrived. Tumefika hapo. Amen. Another another scripture he says. Wacha tuongeze nguvu kwa andiko lingine Paul anasema slide 6 brother slide 8 brother eh, 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 slide ya nane for we know in part and we prophesy in part tunajua sehemu na tunatabiri kwa sehemu tunahubiri kwa sehemu that which is perfect is come lakini kile kikamilifu kitakapokuja and that which is in part shall be done away kilicho cha sehemu kitabadilishwa when i was a child nilipokuwa mtoto i spoke as a child nilielewa kama mtoto i understood as a child nilielewa kama mtoto i thought as a child nilifikiria kama mtoto when i become a man lakini prophetika mtumima mambo ya kisoto nimeweka mbali amen Go, go to the next verse. I think we, we missed first half. Amen. It should have gone to first twelve. Lead, put it for me. Amen. Amen. I'm not in a hurry. Hatuna haraka. If you doze a little you will wake up. Ukisinzia hatuna mbio utaamka utatupata tu. Kuzizia inaweka. Ina Ndio, it's understandable. Kwa sababu is very hot. Kwa sababu si joto ni jingi. So ukizizia kidogo ni sawa. Eh, sinzia tu alafu utaamka utapata. Utamuka. For now we see through a grass darkly. Anasema Paulo, kwa sasa tunaona kutia kwa kio, kwa mfuko wa kizagiza. But when we come to the high mark of our calling. Lakini ukifikia meda ya juu ya mwito wetu. Then we shall see face to face. Tutaona uso kwa uso. Now I Paul know in part. Sasa mimi Paulo najua nusu nusu. But then, lakini wakati I know. Nitajua. Even as also I am known. Vile ni juli wavyo. Amen. Now you can't dispute with Kamwati. Sasa Kamwati unaweza pingana naye. Can you dispute with Paul? Utapingana na Paulo. No wonder he says. Si ajabu Paulo anasema, "They wow, without the people who will have this perfection." Bila ya watu ambao watapata ukamilifu huo na utaja. Wow, hawawezi wakafufuka. Amen. Amen. God help me to come to this in the right way. Mungu anijalie nieleke hili somo la kutaka. To the resurrection. Hawawezi kufika kufufuka. Amen. The capstone bride. Bibi harusi wa capstone wajue la kifuniko. The capstone bride. Bibi harusi wajue la kifuniko. And by the masses of God. Na kwa huruma za Mungu. I believe. Ninaamini. I am speaking to one here. Kwamba nazungumzia mmoja hapa. There is somebody here. Kuna mtu hapa. Amen. It could be one. Anaweza kuwa ni mmoja tu. What was I saying? Nilikuwa nasema nini? Now the capstone bride. Bibi harusi wa capstone have the rainbow. Ana upinde mzima wa mvua. All the seven stars. Nyota wote saba. 
what God told Paul by the first time. Yaani kile Mungu aliambia Paulo kwa nyota wa kwanza. The scripture calls them. Andiko lingine linawaita. The seven spirits of God. Roho saba za Mungu. But those seven spirits. Lakini hizo roho saba. Call seven spirits. Zinazoitwa roho zinaitwa roho saba. Sent into seven different dispensations. Kwa sababu zinatubwa katika mihula saba tofauti. Lakini wakati wa mwisho. The seven spirits become one spirit. Hizo roho saba zinafanyika roho moja. Na hiyo roho moja inashuka. Kama upendo huo unaoitwa pia the resurrection of the son of God wa Adam amen also, I don't like preaching in the I'm living the revelation of the son of man. Sitaki nihubiri popote na niwache ufunuo wa mwana wa Adamu. Even if it's a funeral, even if it's a wedding, even the arusi, because is the is 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 the is the is the canon. Sababu mwana wa Adamu ndiye kiini the nuclear. Ndiye kiini kabisa. Amen. To show the people. Cha kuonyesha watu. There is something going on. Kuna kitu kinaendelea hivi sasa. The son of man is on. Mwana Adamu yuko ulimwenguni. As long as you see all this you see now. Ukiona uchafuo huu leo. All this righteousness. He huko thank you God. In his fullness. Amen. And the believer of this day. Paul says where we stopped. He said. When I was a child, but when when that which is perfect is come. Now may I tell you what is that pastor? Niwa niwaeleze kile kikamilifu ni nini? Slide eh uh, Amen. Amen. Before I come to that, yeah. Kabla sikafikia hapo. Slide 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 that that one. Amen. Without us they never received there. Bila sisi that is Hebrew chapter 11 verse that 9 to 40 they received a good report but without us they never received the promise that promise he says like this that one if you let me keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comfort that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive could you see him not neither know him but he know him for he dwelleth with you he shall be in you I will not leave you comfort I will come to you I will come to you I will come to you but he sees me because I live he shall live also at that day he shall know that I am in my father and he in me and I in you he that hath my commandments and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him that's the promise amen they waited for it. They longed for it. They searched. Something when he comes, kitu ambacho akija, you become synonymous with God. Unakuwa wewe na Mungu ni sawa. Yaani Mungu akitajwa umetajwa. Ukitajwa Mungu ametajwa. That's what Jesus told Philip. Ndio maana Yesu akamwambia Filipo how say you don't know me? Ajabu. Have I been so wrong with you? And yet you know not me. He that has seen me has seen the Father. But there comes a time when there will be a people on that. These people will receive the promise. When they receive that promise, it will be Christ in them. Them in Christ and in the Father. So the Father holds that they will become but and parcel of the Godhead and that is the capstone bride the high calling amen amen capstone bride and when she comes sorry 35 
we say it is the rising of the sun. We have one preach such a message. People want to hear it. God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. He takes a scripture and says, it's the rising of the sun. See, it's the true Easter scene. He says, the mighty God unveiled before Shalom. 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 What does Shalom mean? Shalom Good morning. Which scripture is he referring to? 36, 2 Peter. Petru. Moreover, then I will endeavor that he may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunning let defies habits. But we may know not to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but who are eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father on nine glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. Say, this is my beloved son. In whom I'm well pleased. Listen very carefully to the 485. And this voice, which came from heaven we had to that of transfiguration when we were with him in the holy mount the next verse is a paradox we have also a more sure word of prophecy is my English right? A more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto you do well that you take him. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Seven church ages. Until. Shalom. Shalom Paka is the rising of the sun. Is the rising of the sun Paka. There is a seal. Until Paka. Amen. The day dawn. Kupamazuke. And the day star arise. In your heart. The day star arising in your heart. He said in John chapter 14. In that day, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. In that day, you will know I am in the Father. The Father in me. I in you. And the day star. The Lord Jesus Christ. Is the rising of the sun. Amen. Amen. The difference between an apostolic Pentecostal bride of the day of Pentecost onwards to the seven church ages. She was exposed to Jesus Christ. She was so much like Jesus. Until we looked at them, we called them Christians. But she fell because of teaching. Amen. Come to that in a minute. But now there comes another time when this other bride comes. Amen. Can you read with me again verse 19? And we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Where unto ye do well. That ye take heed. As to us unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Because. The Shekinah glory. The veil. Bazia, is torn in two. The Shekinah glory. Shekina, now shines through. Sasa unangau, unangau. Amen. The opening of the seventh seal. And we have also a more sure word of prophecy. That you do well that you take heed. And so we are shining in a dark place. In the day dawn. And the day star rise. In your hearts. Amen. Until Amen. 
Don't misunderstand me. Msinielewe vibaya. Mpaka Brother Shia wait me until at uningoje mpaka 7 o'clock. Uningoje mpaka saa saa moja. So this until he mpaka until the day star arise. Ni mpaka nyota ya mchana ipambazuke. Has the day star arisen? Sasa nyota ya mchana imepambazuka. Is arising of the sun. Ni kupambazuka kwa jua amesema nabii. Even allowed his falls his 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 picture to be taken. Hata akaruhusu picha yake ipigwe. Amen. Mungu akaruhusu picha yake ipigwe. Na watu stumble you. Ninataka niwakwaze kidogo. That brought a net of prophecies. Hiyo ilimalizia unabii, manabii. Where we are? Tulipo sasa. If we have not left the line, kama hatujatoka kwa mstari, because towards the end of the preview of the bride they went of the line kwa sababu tumeona katika mwisho wa huyo bibi harusi walikutoka kwa mstari this day this scripture ingekuwa siku hii aliko hii siku hii aliko hii this is the day of the scripture hii ni siku ya maandiko this is the day hii ni siku when the bride ambaye bibi harusi has come amefika was speaking kodesha hali ya kutamka mwana wa basi sika mwana wetu kwa mgonjwa i give you life nakupa uhai katika jina la yesu kristo mwana wa basi kama kule mwana wetu has his rep I give you a rib. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say, if you be more sincere, how have we fallen out of the line? Tume potuka di kwenye mstari. Lack of sincerity. Tume kosa sincerity. Tume kosa unyofu. Amen. God have mercy on me. Mungu ni hurumi. I'm speaking of myself. Na nene habari yangu mwenyewe. There is absolutely no sincerity. Hakuna unyofu tena. No genuine. Hakuna ukweli tena. Ni fita na fita na fita. It is inviting and inviting and inviting. Masegenyo na masegenyo. And backbiting and backbiting and backbiting. Chasing this and chasing that. Cooking Mr. Hiki na kila. Let me tell you brother. We are called with the high calling. And this day. And this day. The scripture must be fulfilled. All the scripture. That is in the Bible. This is the day. For the scripture. For the another way. The prophet said get me that quote. Put the mahali. 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 Put Nini nyoba the bible spoke of Amen. 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 Pastor. Eh. We we sisi Do you know in the morning I fought with my wife? Unajua asubuhi mimi nilipigana na mke wangu? Na pastor I know if I explain you cannot understand. Na pastor najua hutanielewa hata nikikimeleza. She so stupid. Mke wangu ni anakuwa mjinga wakati mwingine. My next sermon will be if I have time. Mungu akilipa wakati nihubiri tena This is the day of the woman. Hii ni siku ya mwanamke. Yes. You better you better follow your wife. Ni afadhali ndugu. Fuata mkeo. This is the day of the woman. Hii ni siku ya mwanamke. Kuna watoto unapeleka shule? You have kids you are taking to school? Your daughters they go to wasichana wanapenya 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 wanafika juu few of the boys make it wavulana ni kungangana hapa na pale mmoja mmoja ndiye anaponyoka they leave class 7 they don't go to school anatoka class 7 haendi shule tena this this sister goes and and and, and becomes a house girl huyu dada anakwenda anakuwa house girl she saves a little anaokoa pesa kidogo she starts save by this by this anaanza ananunua hiki na kile baada ya kidogo she's driving a RAV4 ana RAV4 piki piki bwewe bado eh wewe bado uko tu kwa mguu so you start using the word the bible says you need to get to hope wanawake wakae nyumbani neno limesema the man is the head ati mimi ndiye kichwa you don't use the word usitumie neno you read the word you see wacha neno likutumie ndugu amen When the word uses you, it comes with the Holy Spirit. There is such a sweetness. That even your wife Pop. will just love it. Unakuwa na hekima, mtapenda hali hiyo. Amen. Promise me not to get out of the way. Amen. For 11. Amen. We are living in an hour. Tunaishi katika wakati when the prophet say. Ambao unabi Take it and tell. To zinga tia mpaka. We are more sure one of prophecy. Na neno ibara za neno mpaka. Ambapo lazima ulizingatie. Tio. The one who prophesied. Yule aliyelitabiri. Is on us. Ame ulimwenguni. Aliyelisema aje. Let us read the 40. Quickly. Hebu tusome. Knowing this fast that the prophecy of the scripture is of No. 
No prophecy. no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Lord. Now, Sasa, this day, hii, we had the prophecies and prophecies unabi, and prophecies. Unabi, unabi. But there comes a time. Lakini kuna kuja wakati when the Holy Ghost Ambao, yule roho mtakatifu, who moves men to prophesy watu wa nabi, comes here anakuja yeye in the form of the son of man. Katika hali ya mwana wa Adamu. Amen. Amen. And he goes back Na anarudi. not to Genesis anarudi but he anu. goes back anarudi nyuma. before the beginning Kable ya mwanzo. before God was God before God was the Bible he bibiri. goes there anarudi huku. and he's not start telling us you know just the days of the prophecy so, si I'm not telling you before I wrote this Bible what I was thinking Kile <laughs> Woo, that's Amen. beautiful Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because we will say we must stay with our Watu wanasema lazima tukae na neno, tukae na neno. We are not just staying with our Hatukae na neno TV We are staying with the mind. Tunakaa na nia that wrote the word. Mawazo yaliyoandika hilo neno. Amen. Before the word was written. God in his mind. Katika mawazo yake. Alikuwa na kusema this Bible. Akaandika that purpose. No, we know the purpose. Sasa tunajua kusudi. Alilokuwa nalo. Kabla hajaandika neno hili. Amen. Amen. The bride at that time. Bibi harusi wakati wa mwisho. The capstone bride. Bibi harusi wa jiwe la kifuniko is Christ. Yeye ni Kristo. She is she is the coming of Christ in the bride form. Yeye ndiye kuja kwa Kristo katika hali ya bibi harusi. Amen. To bring for one. Ili kuleta uniting time. Wakati wa muungano. And sign. Na ishara yake. Amen. Is a uniting time. Huni wakati wa muungano of people of all ages. Watu wa vizazi vyote. Of all creeds. Watu wa kirade zote. With God. Na Mungu. And with one another. Na mmoja na mwingine. Wakiungana. Yes. Amen. Amen. I usually tell you. Mimi huambia mara kwa mara. As I tell myself. Na nikijiambia mwenyewe. Let us not follow these politicians. Tusifuate hao wana siasa. Ni nimewaambia, si nimewaambia. Eh? Simeona. They are making us fight. Wanafanya tunapigana kabisa fight, 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 fight. Tunapigana tunapigana. Before you know what? Kabla hujajua. <laughs> Unaona kapicha mahali. <laughs> hey. Please I beg you. Tafadhali nawaomba. Politics is of the devil. Siasa ni za ibilisi. Amen. 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 But in the United States, of men of all races, men of all colors, men of all tribes, men of all creeds, with one another and with Jesus Christ for the marriage, the door, the marriage of the Lamb has come. Did you get the quotes? Hallelujah. Amen. The rising of the sun. Kupambazuka kwa jua. Amen. The son of man is here. Mwana wa Adamu yu hapa. Amen. To tell us. Kutuambia. The prophecy is not of any private interpretation. Imesema maandiko kwamba unabisi wa kutafsiriwa na mtu binafsi atakavyo. Because I the son of man. Kwa sababu mimi mwana wa Adamu. The Holy Ghost. Roho mtakatifu who inspired Moses. Aliyehuisha Musa. Who inspired Isaiah? Akahuisha Isaya. Who inspired Jeremiah? Akahuisha Yeremia. I am here. Sasa mimi niko hapa. To tell you. Niwaambi. Before I inspired Isaiah. Kabla sijahuisha Isaya. What I had in mind. Nilikuwa nikifikiria nini? Amen. He is rising of the sun. Pambazuka kwa jua. The son of man. Mwana wa Adamu. Amen. And for for the visitors among us. Na kwa wale ambao ni wageni hapa kwetu. Jesus said. Yesu alisema. When you shall see the world. Kwamba mkitazama muone ulimwengu. Men marrying men. Wanaume wanao wanaume. And women marrying. Wanawake wanao wanawake. And you who judge them. Na nyinyi mnaowahukumu. I want you to go and read in the book of Roman. Nataka muende msome kitabu cha Warumi. Kwamba hawa watu yani wanamwegemeo huo. 
the bible says god give them up and to file affection mungu ndiye aliwaachilia kwa mapenzi machafu be very careful uwe mwangalifu sana when you pray around the word of god ukicheza cheza na neno la mungu can give you up mungu anaweza kukupeana kwa hayo hayo mapenzi machafu mungu ndiye akawapeana akawaachilia kwa mapenzi machafu is a result of god giving them up inatokana na mungu kuwaachilia hebu tusome hilo andiko eh wacha tulisome tu Give me the scripture. Brother David. I'd say I'll sit there but the brother is sitting on my chair so. Si mimi mimi sijakosea ndugu amechukua kiti changu. You think uh, excuse me I know you are mixed multitude. Tumechanganyika lakini tafadhali mnielewe. You think a woman would have no desire towards a man and she desires another woman? Just like that. Unataka tu kuniambia kwamba ni hali ya kawaida tu mwanamke kutotamani mwanamke anatamani mwanamke mwenzake tu hivyo tu. Maandiko yanasema thy desire shall be towards thy heart. Shauku lako wewe mwanamke liwe kwa mume wako. And the prophet taught us. Na nabii alitufundisha it is Amen. How is that brother Mahero? Hiyo nitawachia mchungaji Mahero. He's the one who speaks crossing his eyes. Mimi nikiangalia watu watataanza kuniangalia kwa hivyo. Amen. Amen. You got it? Amen. Brothers, wandugu, you are the most privileged person. Nyinyi ndio watu ambao mmepewa nafasi ya kuwa kabisa. Kutojali ulivyo mnyonge. Kutojali ulivyoshindwa mara nyingi. As long as there is a desire. Bora tu kuna shauku hilo. To be like Jesus. La kuwa kama Yesu zaidi. You are so privileged. For this God God gave them up and to find affections mm. for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman but in their last one toward another men with the men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that the recompense of their error which was meet. Amen. Be filled with all. Amen. Amen. It's not going. No problem. So no problem. If God has given you a desire to love him, kama Mungu amekupatia shauku la kumpenda, you thank him. Inua mikono umshukuru sana. Amen. People have been given up. Watu wamewachiliwa na Mungu. Yes. So yesterday, yesterday I was going to brother Mwendo from Shakai I think it was on Thursday. Nafikiri ni Alhamisi nilikuwa nakwenda kwenda I don't like calling the Uber here I, I walked all the way. Nasikutaka kuita Uber hapa ni Ajib House all the way. House nikaenda to 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 university. Nikaenda university we nitafute Uber hapo. Because if I call the Uber there I save a quite have have the price kwa sababu nikihepa jamu kwa mguu na napunguza and i also obey my doctor na pia natida to make my blood move in the body ili damu yangu itembee kwa mwili inatembea tembea kidogo so i called the uber and i was standing there waiting ni two these two young ladies ukasimama hawa wanawake wawili they are kissing wachange wanabusiana they are hugging wanakumbatiana not the way women kiss si vile wanawake hukubusiana kawaida Ah si hiyo si hiyo hapana ile ingine eh Ah so then I saw nikafikiria pale nikasema oh Mungu that could be your daughter huyo anaweza kuwa ni binti yako that could be your son anaweza kuwa ni mwanao Do, do these things come among us je haya mambo huja huku kwetu these are spirits haya hizi haya ni mapepo ni roho yes. and we must cast them out na lazima tuotoe mapepo hao yes. amen yes. Amen. Yes, <laughs> Amen. This word of God is written in a prophetic way. Hili neno la Mungu limeandikwa kwa njia ya unabii. And it shall come to pass. Na itakuja kuwa. Behold. Tazameni. It shall come to pass. Itakuwa. Behold. Tazameni. When that writer. Huyo mwandishi. When the world is in Sodom and Gomorrah. Ulimwengu kwa hali ya Sodoma. And women are beautiful. Na wanawake ni warembo. And the immorality. Na utovu ni damu. Man son of man. Huyo mwana wa damu. Help from there. Anatakuja ulimwenguni. Amen. Amen. 
like he did in the days of Saul of over Abraham. We are Abrahamites. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 He starts telling us. Amen. 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 A fruit. You read what? Did you read what the Pope, uh, Pope, uh, Pope, what is his, the president of Francis? Did you read what he said about that? He even said we should we should change the Lord's prayer. Prayer. Hata alisema kwamba tubadilishe tufanye tufanye amendment ya Lord's prayer. That we should not pray. Hati tusiombe. Lead us not into temptation Ati God can never lead anybody to temptation Ati Mungu let me tell you Let God can give you up Mungu and you become a murderer and it's God who has given you Mungu amen just to leave that point do you remember Nakumbuka in the day when the word of Elijah was to be fulfilled and, uh, and uh, God in heaven had a conference and also now how shall we make how shall we make a uh, 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 do something that we may fulfill the word that we promise that, that, that was spoken by my father Elijah Brother, this bible there is another force somewhere he watches over his work to fulfill it. Amen. 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 And the Bible says what has been said this. And has been said that. Lying spirit. This church of Botella. That you move from this church. Brothers defraud each other in that church. Oh. <laughs> You have seen nothing yet. Even in heaven there was a rise. Roho muongo pinguni. He came out go. Na hizi roho zote zinatumikia Mungu yule yule. God bless you Peter, you are around. How are you Peter? Is it Peter? How are you? Bari ya Dubai. Sawa. All oh, these spirits of the Lord. He's the Hosot and my people who to make a mungu. Amen. Brother, tell them to me the, the quote that says there is another quote also I want. I forgot to ask. Uh, 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 this is the day when the son of Mas, the, the, the children of God are being manifested, and uh, that's what the Muslims are looking for, etc. The son of man is here, friend. <laughs> No, you, he has to be. Because, because he, he said, when you see the world in Sodom condition, and it was in the days of Noah, in that day, the son of man, Amen. and there is no question that the world is in Sodom condition. Even the governments have around it. He is, is in the parliament right here. Amen. We are trying to pass it. To us, we should rejoice. Because it's a sign. The author of this Bible is here. Amen. The disputes of which, 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 which fashion to use. We don't need to. The author is here. Amen. 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 That's the difference between the bright in the day of Pentecost. She held with the Holy Ghost. She never went on to unite with the world. But she was exposed to the world. But there came a wrong teaching. Hold that. Give me this quote because I want people to know this. If I don't know why, it's not a problem. Is there a seal 650410? And I want to be to, to change my preaching. I want I want I'm working on when I, instead of quoting, I'll be letting the prophet speak. Hey, nataka tufanye kitu kwamba technology kitu ruhusu badala mimi nitamke ruhusu tunaisikia wenyewe usiseme ati nikamwati hapana nabii atamke usikie kwa speaker kamwati lazima amerukane no moja wacha nabii aseme tu mimi sijui watu wananiona nani wananiona wananiona gia kwa nini i don't know what people have against me 
Wacheni nijione. Hey. Kwa nini unamuonea mchungaji? Wacheni nijione. Na hako na macho. Amen. Uh, 237 650410 the Easter seal the Easter seal 237 amen just to show you the Easter seal is here kwamba mhuri wa pasaka umekuja wa Easter umekuja Easter seal amen amen it says like this anasema hivi so so Jesus Yesu so full of this weakening power said if you can destroy this temple that took you 40 years to build I already it up in 3 days why? why could Jesus say that not to ask you why could Jesus say a thing like that he knew that he was amen I wish I could make that he knew who he was he knew that everyone God had lost in there of him he had fulfilled it he knew he was the one God had spoke of do you know you are the one the Bible speaks of the congregation says amen would you also say amen we are, we are Bible verses this is a Bible verses Do you know your possession in Christ? If you are in Christ, you are a new creature. Do you know this word? It's just like everyday living to you. Why? Sure, it's yours. You are a new That's your fault. Amen. Hallelujah. That's true. Amen. We go a little, a little, a little faster. Hebu ni kwenda haraka kidogo. Now Paul, Paulo, 42. Paul, Paulo, that's what he was looking for. Hicho ndicho Paulo alikuwa anatarajia kifike. <laughs> Paul did wrong to be in a time. Paulo alitamani kuwa katika hali ama katika wakati. When the one who met him in the in the in the, in the, in the desert of Arabia, wakati ambao yule aliyekutana naye jangwa la Arabia, would be on earth. Angekuwa ulimwenguni, living in men. Akiishi miongoni mwa watu. Amen. And if you want to know, he looks forward to this time. Now, kuchika kujua pata ni tamani wakati huo. Father, Father, give me Hebrews chapter five. Hebu tuende Hebrews chapter five. Kwanza tuone hapo. I think from verse nine. Nafikiri kutoka mstari watisa hapo. If you are here and you are visitor, kama ukuha na nimgeni, sisi tunaitoa Bible believers. Tunaitoa wa umini wa Biblia. Tunaamini Bible. And actually, in actual fact, we are, kweli, people might think we are, we 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 are. We are Watu anaweza wakadania kwamba sisi ni. We are, we are blasphemy. Ati kwamba tunakufuru. We are actually the Bible. Sisi ndio Biblia. Usikwazo na hiyo made manifest. Si, sisi ndio Biblia imedhihirishwa, inaonekana. Amen. Kama wewe ni mkora sisemi wewe. <laughs> if you are the fraud I'm not talking about you. See, see even in heaven there was evil spirits. Si hata mbinguni kulikuwa na mapepo huko. Rain spirits. Roho Mungu si tumemuona. Nakwambia wadogo wanadanganyana. And brothers cheat each other. Na wadada pia. Na pia wadada vile vile. Dada kama unaenda out with a brother. Sister, if you are going out with a brother. Usiende na mwingine at the same time. Don't go with another brother at the same. Wakati ule ule tena una mwingine huku. Jumamosi hii ni huyu. Hiyo ingine unapanga kingine. Lakini dada kuna sababu ya kutosha. But sister has a good reason for that again. Unajua wadugu usikuisi ujui. Unaweza kuwa munaenda na dugu mumekunyua soda. Because you wouldn't know. Mumekunyua chai. You can take coffee with a brother. Hata mumetembea kwenu. Hata mumetembea soda. Then you go home. And then you hear pastor say. Halafu nasikia mchungaji tena. And brother. Brother Bartholomew. Leo tunatangazo. Dugu Bartholomew. And you just can't believe it is your Bartholomew. Na huamini. Yani. Kwani kuna Bartholomew wangapi kanisa hili. Kini nani ni wangu tu. Halafu unaona metokea. You just have a heart attack. Unakama unazirai hapo hapo. So wadada unazema. So sister say. It's good to be wise. Nivizuli kuwa na hekima pia. Weka hupande hii na hii pande hii. Nipange. 
jipange hii kiponyoka gagao kona hii and be made perfect he became the author of eternal salvation and to all them that obey him Amen. God of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek akitwa na Mungu kwa ni mkuu wa ukoo Melchizedek of whom we have many things to say ambaye tuna mengi tungesema kuhusu hard to be at na magumu kutamka ya dar of here muone mwazembe wa kusema for when for the time he ought to be teacher kwa maana wakati mmepata kwa ushai that one teach you again again which be the principles of the oracles of god nyenye nyenye mnahitaji mfundishwe tena kanuni za ujuzi wa kristo and i become such as have need of milk na mmefanyika kama wanaohitaji ya ziwa no to strong me na sio kama wanaokula nyama ngumu for everyone maana kila mmoja that uses the milk atumiaye maziwa he is unskilled in the word of right ana uzoefu kwa neno la haki for he is a babe kwa maana ni mtoto tu but strong me lakini nyama ngumu bironge to them that are of fury ni wale watu wazima even those hata bwana who by reason of use ambao kwa kuzoea kutumia senses exercise wamezoesha hisi zao kwa pamanua mema na mabaya amen ego age kizazi cha tai eating the meat kula nyama hii mambo tunasemana ni magumu these things we speak are hard Stay things bit, ni magumu these are hard things brother mambo ya melkisedek talking about melkisedek si maziwa is not a, is not skimmed milk amen after all, I found maziwa inakupatia gas pia. Ndio, nilipata na ni madaktari wamesema maziwa inakupa gas ina tatizo. Anyway, I need I need those sisters here who have done nutrition to start speaking to us. Hey. Because we are causing ourselves cancer. Tunajisababishia kansa every day. Kila siku. Talk to the doctor Tuesday. Niliongea na daktari Jumanne. No, please doctor come and speak to my people. Daktari Joe ongea na watu wangu. You go talk to them. Nenda kaongee nao akaniambia hivyo kaongee nao Waambie wa kule mrenda Yeah Kula mboga za kiasi Hii mboga mnaona inauzwa huku imejaa something we call lead Yeah imejaa AD Eh chuma inaitwa lead ama risasi Which will cause you cancer Hiyo itakupatia kansa Hii hii nyanya hii tomatoes ndio you look at it it looks so beautiful Yaani nyanya ni kama ya kuchorwa na ikaongezwa rangi tena hiyo it has been made to ripen through soda or some other some other some other chemicals imeivishwa hivyo kwa rangi hiyo na kemikali na mayai eggs ngombe zinadungwa antibiotics yeah it is inone na unaanga kwa mshuru eh angalia pale kale 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 ati mahali kuna kwa mafuta inasaidia kifua ati hapo ndio unataka inaonekana huyu ni wa zamani ndio tunaenda kiosk unaona unaona supu supu nusu ni mafuta sema acha ni kwa hii kwanza itasaidia kifua The doctor told me we are eating cancer. Tunakula cancer every day kila siku. And is your choice. Na ni chaguo lako wewe. This is the age. Na hiki ni kizazi. And life comes by eating. Abacho uhai unakuja kwa mungu. Basi chakula nyama ngumu. Go up go up 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 a bit. Hard things. Uh, a little. For what? Ah. Uh, is that there? Up. Yeah. of whom we have many things to say ambayo tuna mengi tungesema kuhusu magumu kuleni of who nani huyo tunazungumza mambo yake 10 hebu turudi 10 tuone ni nani tunazungumzia god of god and high priest after the order of melchizedek ameitwa na mungu kwa ni mkuu wa hali ya melchizedek kitushike hapo ya melchizedek ni magumu things about melchizedek are hard things ni magumu are hard things amen na Paul anasema and Paul says here God of God I praise the Lord of Excellence Kwamba meitwa na Mungu wa hali ya Excellence ambaye we have many things to say tuna mengi tungesema and had to be here na ni magumu kutamka king ya dar of here maana muwezembe wa kusikia and Paul stopped speaking those things Paul akawacha mambo ya Melchizedek akasema tena lakini amekuja mwingine leo amen Elijah the prophet Elia nabii amen 
Alianza who is this Melchizedek? Yeye hakuyaogopea mbali aliuliza Melchizedek ni nani huyu? Akasema who was that? Hakusema alikuwa nani Melchizedek la? Yuko hapa. Tunazunguza habari za mtu yuko hapa. 42 now quickly. My time is oh my god. No Paul, Paulo. That's what he was looking forward to. Hicho ndicho Paulo alikuwa akitarajia, anatamani. The things you hear? Yale mambo mnayoyasikia? The things we are listening. Yale mambo tunayoyasikiliza? You, you 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 have this message books. Unajabu hivi vya ujumbe. With a lot of dust. Vina vumbi. Paulo pahali aliko. Paul where he is. Kama tu ningepata hiyo kitabu moja. He is wishing. He would get just only one book. Amen. This. Hivi vitabu hivi. This is a treasure. Hii ni hazina kuu. Amen. This makes us know who God is. Maana hii inatujulisha Mungu ni nani? What God is. Mungu ni nini? Because Amen. I have to finish. Sababu ni nimemaliza. In a message called the guide. Twende ujumbe unaitwa the guide here, kiongozi. Where he says that the reason of the coming of the Amen. seal. Hiyo ndio sababu ya kuja kwa ile mihuri. Amen. This is what Paul was looking. Hiki ndicho Paul alikuwa akitarajia. Archbishop don't know this. Archbishop hawajui mambo haya. Hela day went to the funeral. Kuna juzi tulienda kwenye mazishi. I was in Mairo and quite a number of ministers. Nilikuwa na ndugu Mairo na wakati wengine. Of, of pastor pastor uh, 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 Keboy. Eh mazishi ya mama wa mchungaji uh, Keboy. Sasa kasisi akija. The man with the microphone said everybody now stand up the bishop is coming. Yule aliyekuwa na microphone MC akasema kila mtu asimame bishop amekuja. Pastor let me tell you. Pastor, next time I'm in, I'm in church and you are coming in I'll make everybody stand. Wakati mwingine kanisani na unaingia nitafanya kila mtu asimame. Si kujigamba wa ndugu. It's not bragging friends. We are higher than the bishop. We sisi tuko juu kuliko makasisi. Amen. Amen. The brother who believed yesterday ndugu ambaye ameamini jana tu graphs of god ana mashiko zaidi ya mungu than pope francis kuliko papa francis amen amen because we are called with the high calling sababu mwito wetu ni wajuu zaidi and you are here na bebe uko hapa to be jesus christ kuwa yesu kristo amen that's why we are hated everywhere ndio maana tunachukiwa kote we came to this neighborhood to hate us tulikuja Isili watu walituchukia. You are your neighbors hate you. Maji, maji, majirani wako wanakuchukia. Hata tutafika mahali petu tunachukiwa. Sasa sasa tuna watu wanatukia nini? Sasa why should they hate us? Brother Mwaura, watu wanatuuliza nini? Hey, what, what do people have against us? Give it. That's what Paul Hicho Paulo alikuwa akitarajia. As what Paul Hicho ndicho Paulo was looking for. Alikuwa anatafuta. Amen. A people watu who are gods. Ambao wao ni Mungu. A people who watu ambao watanena. Yeah. And servant Give me one servant. Thank you. You see, Ona. the coming of the seals kuja kwa ile mihuri. Makes a people here. Kunafanya watu walioko hapa. And the Holy Spirit always speaks of the word. Na Roho Mtakatifu kila wakati huzungumza kuhusu neno. I've got many things to tell you. Nina mambo mengi ningewaambia. You cannot understand it now. Hamwezi kuielewa sasa. But when he the Holy Ghost comes. Lakini yeye Roho Mtakatifu aje. He will guide you to it. Atawaongozeni kwayo. That's the reason. Hiyo ndio sababu. The coming of the seal. Ya kuja kwa ile mihuri. You cannot speak of the Holy Ghost. Huwezi kuzungumza kwa Roho Mtakatifu bila mihuri. Amen. At the finishing of the seventh this seal, katika kukamilika kwa mhuri wa saba, the Lord Jesus Christ, the mystery of God, should be finished. Ya pasa ikamilika. To know who God is. Kujua mungu ni nani? What he is. Yeye ni nini? How he lives. Anavyo eshi. To know his nature. Asili yake. To know his being. Utu waki. You are supposed. Umepasa. To be all the way up here. Kumekua paka ukujua kati huu. Bring us into the full stature. Kutufikisha kibo kikamilika. Chawana na binti za Mungu. Kanisa. That's washed in the blood. Katika damu ya Kristo. That's brought without mother, brought without money. Nililoluliwa bila pesa. 
is paid for by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I mean to badge up and bring it here. Hebu. Such people what are brought into a relationship with the God. I'm finishing. Wa moja kwa moja na Mungu. I'm finishing now. Na malizia. If you close your eye, I will not take you sleeping. Ukifunga okay. macho sita. I'll take it you are meditating. Kwa sisi sitafikiri unalala, tafikiri unatafakari. Si ni kujipa moyo tu. Hey. Amen. Bringing forth a personal relationship. Amen. This message was not to make a, to make us a church. A church of Botel. This message is to bring you as an individual into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Could quote many messages on that. A prisoner of Jesus Christ. The manifestation of the sons of God. Give me that quote, please. About the, 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 you got it? Uh, where he says that's what the Muslims are looking for. The manifestation of the sons of God. I'm, I'm finishing now because we have to go to the next meeting. Bring for the personal relationship. Because in the back part of God's mind, God had a purpose. And I want to come and speak of the day of the woman. Because the woman is the greatest thing that God brought forth. Because it's the woman through which and by hope God is able to make us know who he is. Amen. 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 Because without the fall, we will never know grace. Without the fall, we will never know Jesus Christ as a redeemer. There would be nothing to redeem. We will never know him as a healer. There will be no sickness. Amen. Amen. So sister, Basidada, when people tell you this message is very hard on women, this is the message for the woman. This is the age when even Jesus has, 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 has delivered all authority to the woman to the bride Amen. he has he has he has he has made her such she can do all that he needed to do amen 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 you know you have a brother after dad had you watch an account <laughs> Pesa kuna pahali ya navichaka nyumbani na kuna ukikufa hiyo pesa itakuliwa na panya. Watu wakihama ndio watu watakuja kupata mapesa ya mefichwa fichwa ndani ya nyumba. Sama tayo utasahau. Unajua wanaumu wanasahau sahau haraka sana. Mia ino because one time I was I had hit some money somewhere. Kuna wakati nikuwa nimeficha mapesa mahali. Na nikasahau. And I forgot about it. And I was so broke. Na nilikuwa nimeishiwa. And the sister who was washing the clothes. Dada liyekuwa kifuwa. She found the money. It was, it was good money. Pesa zimefungwa mahali. Pesa kiasi kizuri. The pastor hii pesa nimepaka. Ay, ay, ay. Zinizikia kama, kama mungu amenione kalia. Hahaha. 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 We men forget. Sisi wanaume ni wasahaulivu. Hahaha. Hahaha. Kwa kumati unafanya kama peyo bona. Bona unavikini mizi mwanamume. Hahaha. 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 Pastor za men. Hata wachungaji ni wanaume. They are weaker than the other men. I'm not on that. We are in the day of the woman. We are in the day when Jesus Christ has decided. This is the day when the sons of men and the daughters of men and the sons of men and the daughters of men are called the bride. She is a woman. Amen. Amen. It will be made manifest. Amen. 
Nafikiri tutahitaji tuhubiri ujumbe tutoe hii kitu ndani ya wanaume inayowafanya wakalie wanawake. I think we need to preach to take this demon out of men that causes them to sit and to demean their wives. Is the devil is from Satan. Imetoka jehanamu. And you can't be a Christian. Na uwezi ukawa mkristo. Amen. Make your wife a rag. Na ufanye mke wako kitambara cha kuvutia miguu. This is the age of adoption. Hiki ni kizazi cha kuadhimishwa bwana. Amen. Amen. When the the, the man mme, the bridegroom bwana harusi Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo has bestowed all authority. Amepeana mamlaka yote to his wife. Kwa mke wake amua utakavyo. Amen. And because the spiritual types then the natural types the spiritual. Kwa sababu mambo ya kawaida ni mfano wa mambo ya kiroho. Wenda kikomba. Eh, enda kikomba. Niambie utaona wanaume wangapi huko? Asubuhi ya mapema kabisa uniambie wanaume ni wangapi. Wanaume wengi utaona huko ni kuwa. Eh, wale wa kubeba mizigo, mwanamke ananua mizigo, jamaa anabeba. Ah, and they have such a relationship. I, I Na, like them. Wana uhusiano sana na wapenda. This is the age of the woman. Hiki ni kizazi cha mwanamke. You better respect your wife. Na niafadhali ndugu heshimu mke wako. Amen. In the natural. Katika hali ya kawaida hiyo. Amen. With honest expectation the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation see the manifestation what is manifestation madhirisho ni nini making known kufanya kujulikana the first step of making known hatu ya kwanza kujulisha ni nini when you hear the word ni ukisikia neno eneza ananiko na kama dai ni bani ya kama dai ni nyumba kuku unaitikia neno hear him calling unasikia mwito wake amen there is a song we sing kuna wimbo tunaoimba i'll get in a minute in my mind the voice Amen. Amen. I'm finishing. Namalizia. I couldn't go far. Sing, si kuweza kwenda mbali. Even go a quarter. But it's okay. Lakini sawa tu hata kama sikwenda mbali. Making room the children of kufanya watoto wa Mungu wajulikane. Do you know how many people in this church are seated in the churches and they are full? Unajua ni watu wangapi wameketi kwenye makanisa na yameja? And when they hear this message is nothing to. Na wakisikia ujumbe huu, yani ni kama hakuna kitu wamesikia. Lakini wewe unaposikia. Kitu nani ya moyo wako? Kikaitikika sasa. Huo ni ukweli. Hiyo ni kwa sababu wewe na Mungu. Kuna uhusiano. Amen. Making known kujulisha the children of God. Kufanya watoto wa Mungu wajulikane. Kuwatenganisha na madhehebu mengine. Amen. Making known kujulisha ulimwangu mzima the Mohammedans are over yonder wa Islamu wa they are looking for it all around everywhere kata kile mahali looking for it all around everywhere kata kile mahali where is this people wa watu wako wapi tunauliza ada maitrashin wing tumekuwa na upepo uliovuma tumekuwa na gurumu na radi tumekuwa na mafuta na damu tumekuwa na mambo ya kila aina lakini tukakosa kusikia hiyo sauti ndogo tunavutia nabii the rap the rope around him akafunga vazi and walked out akatoka nasiria mara akasema mimi hapa bwana amen around me to finish around here ruhusuni nimalizie hapa al shabab al shabab they are very genuine wao ni wanyofu sana kwa wanachoamini ndio ni mwao they are not murderers wao si wauaji si kuua wanaua they are so frustrated by the rascals ni kugadhabishwa megadhabishwa sana na wakora walioko ulimwenguni. You know who are the rascals? Unajua wakora ni kina nani? Akutu the prophet. Kulingana na nabii, the white man is the rascal. Amesema nabii mzungu ndiye rascal, ndiye mkora. He has taken everything from everywhere in the world. Amekwenda kote ulimwengu mzima akipora, kila mahali anapora kila kitu. Does it make sense? Haieleweki hii. He comes and takes my coffee. Anakuja anachukua kahawa. Takes it to America. Anaipeleka Marekani. Grapes. Anaisaga huko. Mixes it somehow. Anaichanganya style fulani. He comes and bring opens the shop here. Anakuja anafungua duka hapa mjini. Inakuwa ka 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 kapisika. Inaitwa cappuccino. Sasa imeacha kuwa kahawa yangu ya kuchuna inaitwa cappuccino. Cappuccino. Cappuccino wanaita hivyo. Ma unaripa about 300 hama Father who knows how much Sijui cappuccino wanauza ngapi amuendagi huko. Unaenda. Na ile kahawa yangu alinunulia kilo moja kilo moja ya kahawa less than what i pay for one cup of cup 
cappuccino. Yaani na hiyo cappuccino ni kahawa imechanganywa na mchanganyiko machanganyiko. Ya fifth ni wezi. Ndiyo. I don't know why our government can make us we sell our coffee as a finished product. Na sikio kwa nini serikali yetu isitengeneze kahawa yetu kwenye viwanda tuuze ikiwa kamili. These days I went to JQ at. Yes, siku hizi ninakwenda uh, chuo cha JQ at. Give me a letter. Wakanipa bar- barua. Certificate. Wakanipa certificate. Five, five acres of coffee. Nina ekari tano za kahawa. I want to sell it as organic. Nataka niuze kahawa yangu organic. To Sweden. Niuze uh, uh, Sweden. And I have a brother. Na nina ndugu. He brings some American. Analeta wa Marekani fulani. I'll be going through coffee board. Mimi sitakuwa napitia coffee board Kenya hapa na KPCU. Kama wote sasa hivi unahubiri neno au unahubiri kahawa. The Muhammadans wa Islamu have been so exploited. Wametumiwa vibaya sana hivi kwamba wana machungu. Amen. The Zulus, Wazulu wa Afrika Kusini. The Zimbabweans, wa Zimbabwe, the Angolans, wa Angola. Oh brother, eh? the Congolese. Wa Congo hapa. Congo is the richest country in the world. Kwa rasilimali, Congo ndio taifa lenye rasilimali nyingi kabisa ulimwenguni. Simu yako uliona. Not be possible. Haingewezekana kuumwa. Bila kuwa na madini fulani kutoka Congo. And the white man has made sure. Na mzungu mzungu amehakikisha. Country is unstable. Hilo taifa so lataisha vita. They can buy what is the name of that men, mineral? They can buy that mineral. Ili waweze kununua madini hayo kwa kwa bei ya chini. Eh. Hey. And they are wandering. Na watu wanashangaa. How can we fight the men? Tunawezaje pale watu? Wanaume kwa wanawake. How can wanawake. we like it go? Wanaweza kwa this people. Watu hawa wako hapa. Here they are. Hawa ndio hawa. Amen. Sons and daughters of God. Wana na binti za Mungu. I finish by saying this. Nimalizie kwa kusema hili. I know it's very hard to believe that. Najua ni vigumu sana kuamini hiyo because the devil sababu shetani has made sure amehakikisha he has made most of us adulterers amefanya wengi wetu ama ni wazinifu he has made many husbands and wife fighters amefanya waume na wake wengi ni wakupigana kila wakati he has made many of us defrauders amefanya wengi wetu kuwa wakunyang'anya wengine do you know why unajua ni kwa nini shetani kafanya hili ni kwa sababu shetani strebos anatetema tetema to think akifikiria if you people Nini nini watu can be sincere enough Mkiwahi kuwa wanyofu kutosha and can be genuine enough Na mkimaanisha kutosha if kamwati kama kamwati can be honest hata maanisha truthful awe mkweli give himself to God atipende kwa Mungu reading the word akisoma neno akiomba brother ndugu it's a terrible shake hili hili jiji la Nairobi litatikiswa amen go home Amen. Amen. Will go home. Tutaenda nyumbani. Amen. There will be no sickness here. Hakutakuwa magonjo hapa. Amen. That's true. We have it. Tunayo. But we are playing around with it. Tunachofanya ni kuichezea chezea tu. Brothers are fighting over sisters. Wandugu wanapigana kwa sababu ya dada. Sure. Sure is not fair. Si haki. There are so many sisters here. Wa dada sio meja hapa, hawana waume. Why should brothers fight? Mbona wandugu kukunjiana ngumi? Ngumi. Hey. Si si vita ya kiroho hii ni ngumi. <laughs> Brother nakwambia if I ever see with that sister again ati damu itamwagika. Ati fulani wacha nikwambie nikikuona na huyo dada tena utakiona. Dada akupigania kwa jia hiyo. Wait until you marry her. If a sister like if you have to fight for a sister like that, ngoja mpaka utakapomuona. You be you 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 be utakuwa ukipewa kofi. Ndio, utakuwa unapewa kahawa. Ah samahani si kahawa <laughs> ya ya pasta. <laughs> Hii ni nzito kuliko kahawa hiyo. Utakuwa na zabu wa kofi. Sora sora zuwe to the funeral. <laughs> of the father of brother. I love that preacher. The father of brother sister Mwen sister kwa wale tulina mazishi ya baba ya sister Mwangi dada Mwangi bete He told us kuna 
kuna watu walikuwa nasumbua subua hivyo he told us there are people who used to be that 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 bibi akajua this this thing will stop na mke akajua hii mambo tutakomesha akaenda akafanya mazoezi and he said alisema vipi that she trained how to jump alijifundisha kuruka and before she goes back to the ground na kabla hajakanyaga chini tena she has thrown kicks and, <laughs> and boxes ametupa mangumi na mateke kama yule farasi anatajwa na nabii akikuja kufika chini hivi she moves upside down anapiga sama sot holds you with the legs anakushika kwa miguu anakurusha ngani and this husband na huyu mme alionyeshwa eh hey. unaambia wa ndugu endelea tu kupiga bibi zenu hey. dada moja ataenda tu kuna mmoja atakuwa fundisho kwa wengine. Na unajua women learn very fast. Na unajua wanawake wana, wanashika mambo haraka. Akienda ajifundisha hiyo inaitwa kuonda kuko. <laughs> Na karateka. <laughs> Friends, marafiki, we are called with a high calling. Tumeitwa kwa mwito wa juu sana. Amen. Right. Ulimwengu is hungering. Una, 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 una njaa for you unawatafuta ninyi to come to your possession mfike nafasi yenu cheo chenu amen amen the new believers na wale waumini wapya wapya our children watoto wetu mama mkali kupindukia na, and we who are older nasi ambao tuwaze kidogo we think we missed something tunadhania eti tulikosa kitu we missed nothing hakuna kitu tulikosa kwa msimamo wetu Get what you want of the world. Pata utakacho cha ulimwengu. It will amount to nothing. Lakini hakitakuwa na dhamani hata. But if we can come to this personal relationship. Lakini kama tutafikia huu uhusiano wa kibinafsi. We may come to that in a different day. Hebu nijie hiyo siku nyingine. Why it fulfills the second fourth purpose Amen. of God. Pale inapotimiza kusudi la upili la Mungu. Where? Pale ambapo God Mungu gets the preeminence. Anapata utamala anatamalaki. In this brother. Ndani ya ndugu huyu. In this brother. Ndani ya ndugu huyu. Ndani ya dada yule. Brother. Ndugu. Amen. And this, this is the day for that. Na hii ndio siku ya kutimia hii. Before we go to the kingdom. Amen. Kabla hatujakwenda kwenye ufalme. One day I had a voice. Say me the Lord your choice. I'll take away your every sin and set you free. So I came to him that day and he my sins away now so I don't want nothing here to him that day Oh I don't want nothing here to hinder me Yeah. For some day your blessed face Lord I want to see And it makes no difference what's the cost Oh how heavy is my cross I don't want nothing here to hinder me now the many times i'm tossed about and many times i do without and many times my burden burden down with care yes lord but i know If I stay true then some day he'll see me through if I don't let nothing here to him Please don't let your wife hit you Tafadhali usiwache mkeo wa kuzuia Don't let your children hit you Usiwache watoto wao wako wawe kizuizi Don't even let the pastor hit you Usiwache mchungaji awe kizuizi Amen Amen. I don't want nothing here to hinder me. For someday 
His blessed face I long to see. Lord, it makes no difference what's the cost. Oh, how heavy is my cross. I don't want nothing here to hinder me. times I'm tossed about many times I do without and many times my heart is burned and down with care but I know if I stay true then someday He'll see me through If I don't let Nothing here To hinder me Oh I don't want Nothing here To hinder me Lord For someday Your blessed face I want to see Lord it makes no difference what's the cost oh how heavy is my cross I don't want nothing here to hinder me in this age, men is as though they are caged with the bars that are 12 inches square thick. Watu ni kama wamezingirwa na chuma za uzani wa inchi 12. And they want to be free. Na wanataka wawe huru wako korokoroni. Leave me in the churches. Kwa watu waliojaa makanisani. Oh, the churches are full. Makanisani yote siyamejaa sasa hivi. They want to be free. Wanataka wawe free. But by the masses of God, the fear of fire, oh brother Branham, let them free, let in the name of Jesus, and the message of the hour, the word made famous, is the liberator. Amen. For so long, I search for life's meaning I was enslaved by the world and my greed And then the door of my prison was opened by love for the ransom was paid, I am free. I'm confessing and saying, I'm free from all the fears of tomorrow. Yes, I'm free from the guilt of my past. And though I've traded my shackles for a glorious song, I'm free, praise the Lord, free at last. And I'm free from the guilt that I carry from the dark empty life I am free oh when I met Jesus he made me complete and he forgot the foolish child I used to be. I want to 
only give you one minute for the altar call. Naita mwito madhabahu kwa muda mfupi sana. This man said I'm free. Huyu mtu alisema ni huru. From the guilt that I carry. Kutokana na mzigo wa dhambi niliyokuwa nao. The dark empty life. Kutokana na maisha matupu yanyegiza. Amen. In the last year mwaka uliopita we have lost some of the richest men in this country. Tumepoteza baadhi ya matajiri kabisa ulimwenguni Kenya hii. Surprisingly, Ajabu, at the end of their day, mwisho wa siku zao, they always want to identify with the God. Wanataka wajihusishe na Mungu, wanatafuta uhusiano na Mungu. This life is totally empty. Maisha haya ni matupu, hayana thamani. Amen. Get whatever you are able to get. Fanya utakachoweza. Basi God first. Lakini tafuta Mungu kwanza. Amen. Let God be first. Mwache Mungu ame mwanzo. Chochote tufanyacho. Amen. Amen. As I was saying the other day. Nilivyokuwa nikisema Unaweza kuwa na hekari 5. Unaweza kuwa na hekari 100. Lakini ukija kufika umri wetu. Unakuwa na watoto wako. Unawaambia when I die. Nikifa. This way I want you to ride. Nataka mnizike hapa si heka nzima. Unamaanisha heka zote tano hizi? Hii Ni sita kwa tatu kwa I am free. From the guilt that I carried From the dark empty life I am free And for when I met Jesus He made me complete Amen and he forgot the foolish child I used to be. Oh, I'm free from the fears of tomorrow. I'm free from the guilt of my past. Shackles for a glorious song. I'm free, praise the Lord, free at last. You have never given your life to the Lord Jesus. To repent of your sins. Be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na ubatizwe katika maji katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. The remission of your sins. Ili uondolewe dhambi zako. I give you this opportunity. Ninakupa nafasi hii. Come forward. Uje mbele. Shall pray with you. Tutaomba pamoja na wewe. And we shall baptize you in water. Halafu tutakubatiza katika maji. And if you genuinely repent. Na ukitubu kikweli. God is faithful. Mungu ni mwaminifu. You feel with the Holy Spirit. Atakujaza na Roho Mtakatifu. Many of us have compromised on this message. Wame walichukua ujumbe huu lakini wamelegeza msimamo wao kwa ujumbe hapa na pale. We have become rules. Tumefanyika walegevu. God will not work with us. Mungu hata tutumia. If you would want to tell the Lord. Kama ungetaka kumwambia Bwana. Amen. Just by standing where you are. Kwa kusimama tu ulipo. Lord. Bwana I have not lived the way I should. Sijaishi vile nimepasa. I have lost my commitment. Nimepoteza kujitoa kwangu. Lost my sincerity. Nimepoteza unyoofu. And I'm not ashamed to stand. Na sioni haya nitasimama. As we pray. Tunapoomba. I want to go back. Nataka kurudi. Amen. Pale nilipoanzia. Amen. Tunapoimba wimbo huu. If you have never given your right to the Lord. Kama hujawahi kufanya maisha yako kwa Bwana Yesu. Just come forward with your mbele tutaomba pamoja. If you know Kama you alive, maisha yako you have lost the steadfast umepoteza uimara kujitoa the genuineness ukweli to the lord jesus kwa bwana yesu and you want to stand up na unataka kusimama as a sign to him kama ishara kwa bwana of what is in your heart ya kile iliyo kilicho moyoni mwako we test we pray Fanya. after we sing this song tunapoomba baada ya kuimba wimbo huu to many miles behind, behind me to, to many Trials are through too, too many tears Help me to remember That they 
is too much to gain to lose there are too many sunsets they lie behind the mountain and there are too many rivers that my feet have walked through Lord too many treasures are waiting over yonder and there's too much to gain to lose and I cross the whole burning desert I was struggling the right road to choose somewhere up ahead there's clear clear water and defeat is one word I just don't Sunsets they lie behind the mountain. There are too many rivers that my feet have walked through. Lord, too many treasures are waiting over yonder, and there's too much. You came to Heavenly Father, Baba Binguni, yes, I stand in my hands laced up. Yes, there are others standing. Kuna wengine wa mesimama. As a sign. Ni ishara. I'm not as steadfast. Siko wima as consecrated si jajitoa as sincere si, si mnyofu as when I started kama vile nilivyo kwa nilipo wanzia safari hii I'm not ashamed Lord sioni haibu sioni haya the contrary kinyume chake I'm ashamed of that life na haibikia maisha hayo I lay my hands unto you basi na inuwe mikono yangu kwako hallelujah Father, Baba, you have called me with a high calling. Mimi kwa mwito wa juu sana. As a sister, Kama dada. as a brother, Kama ndugu. as a deacon, Kama shemazi. even I as a pastor. Hata mimi kama mchungaji. To stand in this evil age and manifest Jesus Christ. Na nimdhirisha Yesu Kristo kwa wanaoniona. Give him a chance. Nipe Yesu nafasi. In my heart. Katika moyo wangu. In my life. Katika maisha yangu. I lay my heart. Na inua mikono yangu. Without one plea. But Thy blood was shed for me, and that Thou bid me come to Shall find its rest 
those who are standing I am among them their sisters and their brothers it's a testimony in their hearts they want to be more sincere you told your prophet if you be more sincere even cancer shall not stand before you amen father and he was a man who totally and completely lead for Jesus Christ. I raise my hands, Lord. Amen, Father. As a sister, as a brother, and I pray, Father, forgive me. I want to come to you. Amen. I want to have another dose of Calvary. Nataka nipate dose nyingine ya dawa ya Calvary. Amen, Father. Where for me to live is Christ. Pana ambapo mimi kuishi ni Kristo. And to die is gain. Na kufa ni faida. Amen, Father. May this Lord na hawa Bwana create a new start. Na huu uwe ni mwanzo mpya. Amen. For them who are standing. Kwa wale waliosimama. Amen. You said you give us the desire of our hearts. We desire no money. We desire nothing else. We only desire Christ. Amen. Christ. Amen. Okay. And have a purpose. For, for, for which you called and laid us. May be fulfilled in us. The glory of your name. At this moment, we remember Brother Amaro arriving in the hospital. I remember my sister Joyce. I remember many others, Lord, who are unwell here. Others representing others. Their loved ones, Lord. Oh, great God, have mercy upon us. Above the physical sickness, many of us are sick in our hearts, in our minds. We are stressed. We are depressed. We are frustrated. May we learn to sing with this poet. It is well. It is well with my soul. With my soul, it is well. It is well. With my soul, when peace like, like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea. Billows roll. Whatever my Lord Thou hast taught me to say, it is well. It is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet. Though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ had regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. Now my sin, oh the joy of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole. 
is nailed to his cross and I bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord oh my soul it is well it is well it is well with my soul with my soul it is well it is well with my soul that's our prayer lord jesus whatever our state Whatever our standing, whatever our trial, as long as we are in Christ, it is well. As we come to the end of the service, may your blessings rest upon us. May we know the difference between the apostolic Pentecostal bride she was engaged like if was but she never achieved but in the early time there is a bride she is ordained not to fall oh heavenly father help me to be true help me to be faithful help me to disregard the foolishness of the things of this life that come to naught. Grant the Lord is our prayer. In Jesus' name. We shall stand and sing him number 369. So we clap our hearts. Kama tumesimama, tukipiga makofi. You ask me why I'm happy, so I'll just tell you why. Because my sins are gone. And when I meet the scoffers who ask me where they are, I say, My sins are gone. Oh, they're underneath the blood on the cross of Calvary. As far removed as darkness is from door and in the sea of God's forgetfulness that's good enough for me praise God my sins are gone and twas at the old time altar where God came in my heart and now my sins are gone the Lord took full possession the devil did depart I'm glad my sins are gone for oh, there underneath the blood on the cross of Calvary as far removed as darkness is from door and in the sea of God's forgetfulness that's good enough for me praise God my sins are gone when Satan comes to tempt me and tries to make me doubt I say my sins are God for oh, you got me into trouble but Jesus got me out I'm glad my sins are gone oh there underneath the blood on the cross of Calvary as far removed as darkness is from door and in the sea of God's forgetfulness that's good enough for me praise God my sins are gone